I actually think this place has the best vibes of anywhere we've been in Croatia so far. How mad is that? I mean, you never even hear of this. There's like people sat on jetties, on the rocks. It's like a real, almost like a cross between Portofino and Lake Como, but without the prices. Like a sunbed here is like three pounds. What? What do you think? Do you like it, no nice? Oh, okay, let's go get some more. Do you like it? Yeah, it's amazing. Definitely recommend this. If you're in Dubrovnik, you can get the bus. I think it's a number nine bus that goes from Dubrovnik straight here. It'll take about half an hour. Definitely, definitely come to Savtat. C A V T A T. I'm Elise, this is Lawrence, and this is our baby boy. We're traveling the world. But we're going to be doing things a bit differently. We're going to be traveling a month. And coming back to the UK and working a month. So we're going to be traveling month on, month off. Until this little one goes to school in a couple of years. We want to see if it's actually possible to travel the world with a toddler in tow. So subscribe and come along for the journey. This is by far the best day trip from Dubrovnik. Absolutely stunning. This is the best. Like, it's the energy. Oh, it's the vibe, so chill. The vibe of the place. It's very classy. Classy, laid back. Not packed full of people. But there are lots of people, but it doesn't feel like there's lots of people. It feels like there's a few people in town because everyone's. I don't know. It's just a vibe, isn't it? It's lovely. It's very different from anywhere we've been in terms of vibes. Very different. It's got a bit of a Portofino kind of feel to it. Yeah. If you've been to Portofino in Italy. I know they've got to stop comparing Croatia <laughs> to Italy, but it is. <laughs> the Croatians are going to hate us for that. This place is so peaceful. It just feels like a little, like, sanctuary spa. This is located 15 kilometers south of Dubrovnik. So worth coming. It's very green here, like very green, very well kept. Loads of flowers. It's like got a really exclusive vibe, but without the price. It's very strange. It's true. The further south we go in Croatia, the more beautiful it gets. Northern Croatia is going to be really angry with that, but that's what it is. And our next stop is going to be Montenegro, which is even further south. So fingers crossed. In all seriousness, this is my favourite place that I've been in Croatia. Is it one of your favourites? Definitely. Definitely. That's it's, a big statement. Yeah, it's, a, it's more the vibe because yeah. obviously the whole of the coast of Croatia is absolutely stunning. But the vibe here is completely different. Completely different. It's our car. I told you if I was going to live anywhere I'd live here. Same, same. And they've even got beads in it, like us. We don't have beads. But we have a dream catcher. Me, me here At this time tomorrow There's something you need to know I've got you to see You as a friend but deep inside there's something else I know Ooh, The world seems so hollow Ooh, Without you by my side Ooh, From the moment I dared to follow I was bring boys inside <laughs> a very happy cat. I don't understand how we've never heard of this place before. This is unbelievable. If you come to Croatia, you've seriously got to come this here. This is the Portofino of the yeah of that coast, isn't it? But yeah. it's like Portofino without paying forty pound for a plate of pasta. It's Portofino, yeah. but 
he paid seven pounds for a plate of pasta. Yeah. All the seafood restaurants up here look unreal. I'm going to sample some in a little while. Yes. We'll bring you along. Nine eyes. Oh, dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Can I see this one? Look. Big one. Hungry nine eyes. Okay. Ready for your dinner? Hey. Oh. There's nothing in there yet. Yeah. You want this one? Yes. You want to try? Try there. Lawrence was mildly upset about. He still thought it was nice. The food was really good. Though. So we're going to put it in our travel guide. This is the place, Lelt. And we're going to put it in our travel guide along with everywhere else that we've been and recommend in Croatia. We'll pop the link to that in the description of the video. Can I just say, I had a tomato in my lunch and it was the best tomato I've ever had in 33 years of my life. So it's really unexciting, but it's really nice. <laughs> what are they doing, Nine Eyes? Yeah, we're not too close to the Standing underneath the lights. Looking to each other's eyes. Tired snowflakes coming down. Collapse into one when they hit. I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep All that's left is I promise you're going to be a bit Close your eyes and let us fade away for you and me Let our minds be caught in 